and welcome to my YouTube channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. Thank you for joining me. We are looking at June's tarot scope and we are looking at water signs now. So Pisces, Scorpio and Cancerians. We're going to start off with Cancerians, almost your birthday Cancerians. Let's have a look at what's going on with you. Okay, Cancerians. So Cancerians, the general vibe here, the general vibe. We've got a lot of signs this month dealing with change. We do have, um, your birthday's coming up towards the end of June. You've got celebrations cards here, so I'm not surprised that's coming. So this could connect to all those that are having a birthday at the moment, or this month. What we've also got, I feel like a quite of a mixture actually, Cancerians. There's a mixture of highs and lows coming in this month. Now the devil card coming in here for you can indicate that you're, you haven't got as much control as you want in life or in yourself or even in your finances, whatever area it is. You may find cancer is that there's something from the past that comes back in that's got an emotional connection that pulls things apart a little bit or that makes you feel like you haven't got as much choice in your life as to what you actually have. So... I would say here, Cancerians, you've got choices around your emotional situation there. You don't have to be tied, you don't have to be um, down a slippery slope as much as what you think you are. You've got the manifestation card, although it is in the past, Cancerians, you know, go back to the past because it's indicating here that you can manifest what you want. Think about your dreams, think about your realities, think about how you can bring your reality, your dreams into a reality there. But don't get stuck from things. Someone from the past or a situation from the past could be coming around you that's a bit of a challenge there. Don't let it bother you. You've got this choice. Get it out of the way, sort it out, because then you've got the Knight of Wands. Action. And that's really when things start to move a lot more forward for you. Now, the action card comes in there to indicate that you, things are going to start to speed up as the month goes on. You've got money, so you could be getting some extra dough for your birthday. But also, there could be other areas where you've, you've got a financial gain or you're dealing with finances here. Like I said, there's celebrations and you've got the money card next to the celebration card. So I like that vibe for you. As you come towards the end of the month there, you should be feeling a lot more um that you're through stuff that you've worked through things and that you can see that light at the end of the tunnel no more go around circles no more banging your head against a brick wall but you do have a lot of choice coming in you've got the six of cups you've got the seven of cups and you've got the devil so there is a lot of choices that are coming in for you um cancers but remember not to let it overwhelm you not to let it get to you there and if there's stuff to do with other people that you haven't got quite got control on just step back a little bit concentrate on your stuff Mentally there you've got changes, so you're aware of some endings and new beginnings or things on your mind to do with changes, to do with new beginnings here. And uh, around you, this is interesting, the, because my dad's a Cancerian and we've got here the, the dad card, the emperor card, so there's always a little thing in my head for that. But the emperor card here for your influence Cancerians is indicating for you to be in control, be master of your own destiny, set your boundaries there. Important influences perhaps to do with public, perhaps to do with authoritative people will come around you. I feel we'll have a more positive influence there. But also don't forget you've got choices. So you don't have to let someone boss you about too much there. Let's see what we pop another card on there. So it's a, it's a month of kind of being hippity-pickledy really, I feel, Cancerians. It's like up in the air one minute, sorted one minute, then not the next. Lots of things going on. It feels, again, travel's coming in around you this month, Cancerians. Um, travel and choices, weighing up all your choices emotionally. If you've got something to do with emotions there, Cancerians, I would say that something isn't quite as clear as what it should be. So you may have to dig a bit more deeper, a bit more research there. Work-wise around you, it feels things are quite uplifting. As I feel the work vibe, I've got quite an uplifting, exciting vibe there for you, Cancerians. Um, and something that's shifting, something that's moving forward for you. You may have to get out of a work situation that's been causing you a bit of bother, though, but you, you can do it. You know, As the month moves forward, it should be a little bit easier there. Finances there, there's a new opportunity. So it could be a new job or home, but there's an opportunity to bring in a bit more money. I do feel like you're quite playful this month. It is your birthday month. And that's the energy that I would want to bring in, really, especially with the devil there. Bring in some playful energy. Connect to people that really float your boat. Connect to people that are going to be inspiring for you, that are going to help you to reach your creative side um, and to help you really feel good about yourself. That's what I would want. 
things are going to happen quite quickly this month. I think the month is going to go quite fast for you. Um, there's travel. There is some travel coming in around you as well, Cancer's there. So it could be a little birthday treat away or something that you're planning um, for you there. Uh, my main message for you is that it, it feels like it looks worse than what it actually is this month. You'll overcome things, but keep your options open. And if you feel like you're being controlled in any way or there's something a little bit heavy on you, remember that you've got the choice around it. You don't have to let it be be um, overwhelming you of any kind but have have a bit of fun and enjoy some birthday celebrations there okay let's move in to Scorpio let's have a look and see what we've got for you Scorpios for this month of June okay Scorpios June oh we've got one that's fell out let's have him first Okay, so Scorpio, oh, I need to move over here, and you can see it a bit better. Scorpios, nice cards, nice cards. Now, Scorpios, you are a secretive sign, and you do like things, you know, you can be a little bit paranoid sometimes, but you do like to keep things to yourself. So, you've got the moon as a bit of a challenge. So, it feels like you want to have more control than what you've actually got, to be honest, Scorpios. It, it will be better if you just go with the flow, um, and try not to let your paranoia get the better of you really now there could be things going on that's hidden that are causing a bit of stress but there's nothing you can do about it take a bit of time to retreat take a bit of time to go within maybe do some meditations and maybe do some work on yourself really Scorpio particularly if you're bothered by by others there do a bit of work on yourself you might find that your intuition is, is a little bit slow at the beginning of the month, but as you come through, it's going to pick right back up again. And actually, as the month goes forward, it's going to be a lot more better for you. The Queen of Wands, you really have got to dig deep into your shadow side there, Scorpios, um, and, and accept something. You know, Be truthful, be honest, and accept a situation. You're going to start to feel a little bit better as you come into the August months, I feel there, Scorpio. But you're leading the way. There's a passion burning inside you. You want to be leadership. You want to lead the way here. You want to be in charge of things. But there's some hidden influences going on which may cause a bit of a dampener. That said, by doing some meditation and working on yourself, you're going to be able to really find, um, find all your answers, really. And going back to the past of something, healing that past situation, looking at things that you may have put away, you're now going to be able to start getting back out again there. As you move forward into the month, the judgment card allows you to release it all. It tells you, let it all go, release everything. You can see the bigger picture. That you'll have that penny dropping moment, that awakening. And really, that's going to bring in a bit more luck on your side. You're going to start to make luck happen for you. Things are going to start to improve for you. There's a bit more faster energy coming in towards the end of the month, a bit more action there. But luck is going to start to turn. Could be some education coming in for you as well. Um, and it's like a new chapter. There's a new chapter unfolding for you, Scorpios. I love this card here for you in the arts position, the sun. Family is going to be super important. For me, I think your vibe here is really just concentrating on family time. Don't worry so much about the working situations because things may not go exactly how you want them to go. Or there could be some hidden influences around work that just put a dampener on your stuff. But if you pay to, uh, attention to having some fun, letting your hair down, reaching that inner child and enjoying some family time there, then you'll find that your energy shift and you'll feel a lot happier and a lot more contented there. And that contentment will continue because you've got the ten of cups, sorry, the nine of cups. So that contentment will continue for a little bit longer where you can just be in a happy family place. You can just be in a contented place. Be happy with what you've got. Try not to get too, too ahead of yourself. Just be appreciative of what you've got there but it certainly feels like the family side of things are coming in i'm drawn to getting a new car around you scorpios as well so i'm wondering if there's going to be some new wheels for you there now you could be getting a bit bored and discontented with certain things but with the luck on your side it's, and the fun card it's really down to you you know you've got the four of cups there so you could be feeling a bit fed up and a bit bored um, and a dis bit discontented but you can change things if you want them if you want it to there Justice card is in your mind, so you want justice, you want fairness, but justice card is about accountability, so you have to accept your part in things and be 
um, be honest and be truthful about your part in any situation here. And remember the justice card, accountability, it's about the law of fairness. It isn't necessarily a, a win or a loss. This is about the universal fairness and the universal balance there. So there's an element of having to trust, but really, uh, you know, accountability. But I'm also drawn to legal things as well around you, Scorpio. So you could be thinking about businesses or contracts and legal things coming in around you. And it's about weighing it all up, weighing it all up. Um, and I would say it's not the best time for business, to be honest, at the moment for you, Scorpio. Is there? It's a much better time for love. It's a much better time for enjoying friendships and enjoying some creative time and time with your family this month there. Put work aside a month and just enjoy. Enjoy counting your blessings, enjoy what you've got there and enjoying family life for sure. And whatever is gonna make you feel emotionally satisfied, emotionally content there, Scorpios. Pick the work back up another time. Think about the legal aspects of it or trying to get the balance of it there. Your health, I think, may have suffered a little bit recently, um, Scorpios. So I would say again, Spending time on you, spending time in the quiet, meditating, reflecting, reflecting over things will give you that uh, more that vibe, that awakening vibration that you want there. Now your past card, the King of Pentacles, so things have worked out in the past for you. Things um, on a business venture there, there were some good ideas for you, but I just feel at the moment now, try and save your money, try and be practical with your money, try and get organised with your finances there so that it will stand you in good stead so you can enjoy it have a bit of fun and come back to the drawing board of that later on all right scorpios so have a fabulous june and let's have a look at our final water sign our fishy friends the pisces i'm interested for pisces here as well I have a personal connection so let's have a look for pisces Okay, Pisces. Move it over here a little bit. So, Pisces, it's like you've got it now, the penny dropping moment, that clarification, what it is that makes you happy, and your part in it, your responsibility. We've got the Justice card that is reversed. So, you might find that things just aren't fair, or things that just don't seem fair, but what's your part in it? Are you doing what you can to make your life happy, really happy? Are you doing what you can to give you that 10 out of 10? Or are you moaning and groaning and then creating that energy around yourself? So there's a bit of personal responsibility coming in. If you've got anything legal going on around houses or around paperwork, you should find the answers come to you this month. You should get the bigger picture of it this month for you, Pisces. All is not as it seems, though. There's a little bit of illusions going on. There's a little bit of um, something maybe a little bit wary, but wary, but woo going on around you. So trust your intuition this month. It's really important that you trust your intuition, Pisces, this month there. Now, you should find as you come to the end of the month that your finances are a lot more um, acceptable, a lot more contented, a lot more easier there. There seems to be things settling down in your finances area after a little bit of a bumpy emotional patch there, Pisces. And I do feel that there is um, some influence. You know, you've got the Ace of Pups coins there as the outside influence so you might find that you've got offers of money or that you're offering money to people here but inheritance is going to be talked could be talked about family money could be talked about with happier solutions and happier celebrations here but there's a little bit of underlying things there's a little bit of hidden energy going on so be careful with that the to nine of cups though does indicate as you move forward that you take that responsibility and you start to feel happy and content and you look at where you can count your blessings. You look at the cup half full, not half empty, and you start to feel a bit happier all round. You've got to trust your intuition. You're super intuitive, Pisces, so always listen to that there. Work-wise around you, Pisces, here. What I'm seeing, not too much work emphasis, to be honest. I'm feeling it's more around emotional things here, possibly financial things, but more emotional things. Work-wise could be a little bit quiet on the front there, or you may find you just want to re retreat and withdraw from people or situations. However, you could be looking at long-term planning of investments around your work as well. As the month moves forward though, Pisces, your work starts to pick up a little bit more, or your energy starts to shift, where you start to feel a bit more happier, a bit more contented 
for a while there. And, you, you know, boundaries within work. Be a master of your own destiny within work. You've got a lot of power, Pisces, and I don't really think you realise how much power you've got. I think sometimes you hide it under a bushel, bushel, whatever it's called, or you may find that you um, get a bit low and a bit depressed, and that takes your, your power away from you. But once you can realise that it's all you, you've got the choices, you've got the answers, it's all down to you. Honestly, taking things into your own hands, you really can make magic happen around you. There are things out of your hand, you know, you've got the moon card, there are illusions and delusions to life sometimes. And you are quite a delusional sign there, you can bury your head in the sand or be quite fantastical with things. And the hermit indicates there, there is a bit of quiet time needed and meditation perhaps needed, but don't spend too much time there or on your own. You're going to feel much better when you can count your blessings and seeing the positives. Use that law of attraction, use that um, the energy of the secret there to, to manifest and to bring about what it is you want. You've got strong leadership skills there, so that's unusual for Pisces, but you've got what it takes to move it. It's just you that kind of blocks it there. There does look like there's some home or money or material things that are important this month. Um, that's where the focus seems to be around your money and material things. But although feel, things feel a little bit bumpy for you, um, I actually feel that they're going to, there's light at the end of the tunnel, things are going to work out better by the end of the month there, Pisces. But your mindset, your attitude and your understanding is going to be a massive part of that. Help yourself where you can there, Pisces. Your relationship side of things, I think it's like a case of um, counting your blessings, really. And for a while you'll be alright, for a while you'll be okay. You might feel a bit left out sometimes, you could feel a bit lonely. And then it's like, actually, you know, you start thinking about the good times there. But as the month moves forward, there should be a bit more reasons to celebrate, even relationships. There should be, you should be feeling a little bit more uplifted or having the chance to perhaps meet new people, get out there and expand. Because it's definitely, you know, this is like indicating that nobody wants you to be on your own. Nobody wants you to be sad. Unless you're happy that way, you actually nobody really wants you to be there. Um, the energy around you is to be a bit more um, fun with other people, enjoy company a bit more there. So, so we, we've covered work, haven't we? We've covered your money, we've covered your emotional side of things. I think the general vibe for you, Pisces, is just to keep your head up, really. Try not to spend too much time on your own. There, contemplate things. Um, be aware that all is not quite as clear. Trust your intuition, but as the month moves forward, count your blessings, look at the cup half full, and take responsibility for your stuff. Legal things, paperwork things, and financial things are the key. That's what's really important, but with a much better outcome all around there. So, have a fabulous June, Pisces. And if any of you guys, water signs, would like to book a reading with me, you can contact me on www.katemay.co.uk or leave a comment. And I am answering questions on the cards or on your personal life. So do, if you want your own little reading done in these, um, in these chats, do leave a comment and I will come back to you with your own little spread on my YouTube channel. Take care. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Katemay, Monday Mystic. And I'll see you soon.